what's good y'all boy ross back at again with another video so i wanted to talk to y'all man uh, about uh chad gable and his recent i guess you can say somewhat of push they've been giving him and honestly i hope they continue doing that because to be honest with you guys i think chad gable is a fantastic wrestler he's just been given pretty bad gimmicks especially after um his tag team partner uh jason jordan had to pretty much retire due to injury they hadn't really had much for him and he's been kind of just floating around the lower mid card for the past couple years and the reason why i'm bringing this video up because i was thinking about it especially this past monday night uh raw and how over he was granted he was in his hometown but uh not even just this raw other raws previous how he's been getting more over when it comes to um him having somewhat of a i guess you could say like a singles run uh his um the feud that they're building with him and gunther is actually been quite entertaining and i do think they need to capitalize on this because he's a fantastic guy that can actually go in the ring um but wwe is they're known for having fantastic guys be put in horrible feuds and horrible situations to the point where the fans don't care about them you know for example la Knight, before his popularity has really grown this feud with bray wasn't really that well received when you all look at and when you look at things as a whole and even if you go before that them teaming them up with the the uh the male models that whole gimmick that was trash like they were is they were ruining him on arrival to the main roster so the fact that he was able to recover from that and now he's one of the biggest stars in the company is beautiful to see same thing with Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn uh before the bloodline and start being like a bloodline groupie then he finally got in you know at first it, it wasn't looking too good for Sami Zayn because he was kind of floating around not really doing too much of anything noticeable until they put him with the bloodline and then it started to get over and then it became one of the best things on on wwe television to the point where he was having a main event match with uh roman reigns and everyone wanted him to win a championship and i feel the same way about chad gable here he's in his group with alpha academy they haven't really done anything noticeable um but they've kind of helped like i guess you can say enhanced the group overall when they added maxine i think once they added her to the mix fans started to get a little bit more interested fans weren't even like i guess you can say shitting on the shoes gimmick even for me at first i wasn't a really big fan of it but it's kind of it's kind of growing on me it's kind of a little it's endearing and people are, are you know actually really getting invested into what they got going on and we've seen it on the past couple weeks on Monday Night Raw, especially this past week, where he had his son out there. He won that Fatal Four to uh, be the number one contender for Gunther's Intercontinental Championship. And he had his family out there, had his son. He ran around the ring with his son. Like, you have something here. And the crowd went crazy for him. And it'll be interesting to see if more crowds in different cities start to really root for this guy. Because I think you can. I think... A lot of us compare him to a Kurt Angle. He has the physique of a Kurt Angle. Uh, the comedic timing is not as good as Kurt Angle's was when he first came into WWE. But over time, I think it could possibly grow. You know, he has those little comedic little moments that the fans can find endearing. But I hope they really see something here and actually utilize it. Because I do think chad gable could be somebody that they can really potentially make a uh a, a star out of if they continue to push him the way they have and the one way i think you can help him get to that next level in his wwe career is this feud with gunther now i don't want to jump the jump the shark here and say oh let's put the title the ic title on chad gable i wouldn't say that right now but i do think their feud should be a catalyst potentially for him to win the ic title my example i've stated before especially after seeing what they've been doing with chad gable going forward and i think he seems like a uh a very viable candidate 
to be the one to potentially take Gunther's title is I believe they're having their match at Payback. I'm not sure, but they have their match. And I would have Gunther, instead of him beating him clean, I would actually have Gunther cheat because Gunther doesn't cheat. I would have him cheat to beat Chad Gable. Kind of like what they did with the five minute beat the clock match where Gunther was basically flexing saying, yeah, I can beat you in five minutes. It's not going to take me time. And it was one of those situations where he couldn't get the job done and it frustrated him. I hope they expound on that. Have Gunther try everything to put this guy away, but he's just too damn good and have him cheat. Have him cheat. And I'm not saying have the the rest of Imperium help, but more or less have him cheat. Maybe grab the ropes. Maybe grab the tights or something. Because we don't see that with Gunther. Obviously, he's still a heel. So I would have him do that. Have him have to resort to other means than actually just beating your opponent into submission. He actually had to cheat to get the job done. And when you do that, you create this sim sympathetic character in chad gable because it's like damn gable almost had it done he almost had it but he had uh gunther had to cheat to beat him you know i want to see gable actually overcome this guy it looks like this guy can do it damn he made gunther have to cheat and i think they could follow up with something going forward instead of having gunther beat him clean because i don't i don't think that would help chad gable's push if they are trying to push him which i do think they should i don't think it helps his push if you just beat him clean because then all right well gunther goes on to the next person but if you have him cheat you can open up the feud a little bit more and now people want to get behind him people want to get behind seeing chad gable potentially be the one to take down gunther now i do think this obviously should happen after gunther breaks the longest intercontinental championship reign and then after that you can kind of go forward um so i don't know i think that may be after payback i don't know exactly when payback is so that may be right around the time of payback or after payback i believe he breaks the record in september i could be wrong he's not far from it so you have time to build up that anticipation and that hype that maybe chad gable is the one to possibly do it now, I know some people have said maybe Ilya Dragunov should come up from NXT and be the person to do it later down the line. I don't know when they're going to have him come up from NXT, so I can't really put too much stock into that. I can only go off of who we have on the main roster. And to be honest with you, if there's anybody that I think would be a viable candidate, because one, Chad Gable can go in the ring. He is, he's a wrestler, an Olympic wrestler. He can go. I would go with him. If there's anybody that can get the job done, it's him in my opinion and once again just the crowd endearment and what they got going on with his gimmick even though it, it can be kind of cringe and kind of hokey at times he's endearing and you want to see him succeed and i want to see him succeed and once again seeing him run around with his son after he won the fatal four way uh it, it writes itself i think people would not have a problem if chad gable was the one to dethrone gunther at some point for the intercontinental championship and now you have you have you uh a new star you know you have someone that now their star level can increase because it's like oh damn he he's the one that beat gunther oh man you know what i'm saying I'm not saying he may get a main event run but it becomes more viable for him to one day say i want to challenge for the world heavyweight championship on monday night raw he beat a legitimate guy in gunther so me personally i'm all for them doing something with chad gable they have something here they were able to you know make this alpha academy situation work i think they do something with him and i've said it before i've wanted to see Connor gable go on his solo run now granted i don't think they're gonna have him separate from alpha academy i don't think they should honestly because it's the numbers game if he's going against gunther he's gonna need otis to kind of help him out he's gonna need maxine to kind of help him out so i'm cool with them staying together as a group you can kind of i guess put it in comparison to when kofi was on the kofi mania run and biggie and xavier were there to just support and be there for him and cheer him on and and, and help him get to that moment like to have his back i think that you can do the same thing there without breaking up alpha academy because 
they need tag team so i don't think they need to do that but i do think they need to be the ones to support gable to overcome gunther and i think that would be a nice moment so that's what i've just been thinking about y'all let me know down below how would y'all feel if chad gable is the one to dethrone gunther for the intercontinental championship because i do think there's something there and they've been pushing him and i hope they continue to push him and if they do pull the trigger they may once again be able to elevate another wrestler's career because outside of you know what he did with american alpha with uh jason uh jason jordan he hasn't really been doing too too much in the mid card scene and i think this could definitely help him going forward and i want to see the guys succeed man so comment down below let me know how y'all feel about that but i appreciate all the love and support you guys are showing on channel road to 150k and i'm still young speeding you to wrestling champion of the world appreciate y'all getting with me see y'all next one peace